I thought I'd show you today um, how I set up a custom list because sometimes you want to sort and organize in a way that it doesn't make sense to Excel. For instance, I have um, an order of t-shirts here and I'm going to want to be able to sort and organize by these uh, sizes that are not in alphabetical order. So the first thing that I would do is go to File and get into my Options all the way down on the File menu and come down to Advanced. What I'm going to start with here at the very end of the Advanced group, towards the bottom, there is an Edit Custom List. And this is where Excel keeps things like your days of the week and months. And so what we'll do is add a new list using um, this range here of our t-shirt sizes in the order that we want. And we will import that. And then that becomes a custom list. That's all you have to do is tell it the order that those go in. And then OK. Now, to use that, if, for instance, if you are using a list and, and say I just go to the sort here and go A to Z, um, sitting anywhere in that t-shirt size column, when I do the sort, it might get a little confused. It might try to do it. It may do them alphabetical. If I do it by size, let's try that, A to Z then you'll see how it does the numbers first, large, medium, small. So it, it's chaos to me. It doesn't work at all. So what I would do at this point instead is to get in that sort list. And this time I would go by custom list and choose my list here. You're following? And then when I say OK and OK, then it does my sort order just the way I want it. Now, if I were to take that to the next level, and um, if I inserted this as a table, maybe format as a table, and go like this. So there's my range. My table has headers. Okay, so good. Now, when I'm filtering and sorting, so it's not having... Um, the sort, the custom sort order here, but you could still use the data tab, use that larger sort button, and I could still pick by size and pick my custom list if I needed to. Now, let's take this another step. What if I wanted to take this over to a pivot table? So maybe I would um, go ahead and since that's a table now, I'll summarize with the pivot table to a new worksheet. And maybe I would like these by size, by name, who gets what. And I'm going to take size one more time over to values, and it should do a count for me. So there I've got it, two extra small, two small, two medium. If that was not sorted correctly, more sort options, and let's see, more... Well, I was hoping it would be in here. I don't see it, but it did seem to pick up the sorting I had already started from the other. So at least that's that's something. Um, data tab, sort order here, A to Z, Z to A. So doesn't look like it's so easy. There's probably a way to do it, but at least that gets you a start if you needed to do such a thing. So custom custom list, again, that's file and all the way down to options and all the way down in the advanced section, way towards the bottom, edit custom list. Okay, hope this helps. Have a great day.